so the time so the so the time so the time passed the time passed and um he what you call it he called he called me and bro up he called me and bro up and he like yo um no we sitting there the sergeant and all of them come in sergeant three COs and everything so it come in boom so I'm like, damn, what they coming in here? So niggas is like, my bro, like, yo, they about to send somebody to the box. So I'm like, damn, that's crazy. You going to the box? I feel bad for they stupid ass, whatever they done did. He like, yeah, we talking mad shit. Like, yeah, they done did whatever they done did. They dumb as hell with they dumb ass. They about to go right to the box. They going to the hoo scouts. Over. They going to the coop. Ooh, you like, oh, they about to be mad as hell. They about to be hungry than a motherfucker. They about to be hurt. They going to, they got to go back all that. They going to the box. So they in there for a little minute. He laughing. He joking with them. Boom. So then he called me up. He like, yo, Cooperwood, come up here. So I come up here. He like, yo, can you pass this note to the, uh, this letter to the sergeant for me? I'm thinking in my head like, well, I got You could have just handed it to him. But I'm like, okay, cool. I'll pass it. I pass it over to the sergeant for him. He called the other dude up. He like, yo, can you pass this to the sergeant? He passes it to the sergeant. Here go our stupid ass. Not even knowing. We thinking in our head like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yo, he, he, he fucking with us. He need us. Uh, you know what I mean? Cool. You know what I mean? We about to be chilling. So the sergeant reads it. It says, What'd you just say your name was? I'm like, oh, it's Cooper with, sir. He like, what's your number? I'm like, 06B0747. He like, okay, what's your name? Such and such. Uh, all right, turn the fuck around with your stupid asses. Put your hands on the fucking wall. I'm like, he like, <laughs> he like, you fucking guys are so fucking stupid. He calls you up here. You passes your own ticket to me, and it's the third to lock you up. You, look at you. You look stupid. Put a, get, get your hands on the wall. So now I'm on the wall mad as hell because I look dumb as hell. I just passed this evil-ass cracker. And I love white people. I don't even mean to say I love y'all. But some of y'all be dev. Y'all know y'all. some of y'all people be doing some devilish shit. Y'all know that. Y'all done did some devilish shit. Your great-grandparents done did some shit that you know you're supposed to repay and debt to society to black people for. You should go to three black people and just be like, you know what? I apologize for this. When I say slavery, you say sorry. When I say slavery, you say sorry. Slavery. Slavery. I hope you said sorry. Um, so he's talking mad shit to me, and he's just sitting over there with the blue eyes, thinking, just a cracking up. Was like, <laughs> Sarge, I made him, I passed him his own, I passed him guys their own tickets so you can lock him up. <laughs> and I'm just looking at it like, yo, I should knock, I should spit in your face. And I'm thinking in my head, like, nah, that's not the move. I spit in his face, I ain't even gonna have no more teeth. I can't be a young nigga with no teeth. They're gonna think I was smoking crack since I was two. Mm -mm, I ain't gonna do that. They probably gonna whoop my ass crazy. And I just got here, so I ain't trying to be just beat up. So boom, they lock us up. We go to the box. I'm mad as hell about that shit. He lied on the ticket and said he asked us to mop. I told him, no, bitch, get out of my face. Who do you think you're talking to? Mind you, the sergeant know this is a lie because the man called us up all and I was nonchalant, no attitude, no nothing. But they gonna all be with each other. I go to the ticket hearing. I'm like, yo, I, I tell him, like, yo, you know he's lying. Like, you know he's lying. They looking at me like, yeah, we know it. Hits the tape recorder because they, when you would go to the ticket here, they got to turn on tape recorder so they record the whole thing so Albany can get a, Albany's like the central, the mecca. So they got to get a recording of your ticket hearing so they can know that they went by the rules. But mind you, all they got to do is stop the tape and be like, listen, bitch, this is what you getting. If you don't take it, it's over. Basically, that's what they did to me. You don't, you don't plead guilty to this. We're going to give you 60 days. No. 90, 90 days in the box. Here you just take 30. Uh, boom, suspend 15, and you're going to do the rest up on key lock. So I'm like, damn, this is crazy. This is how they get me. He just looked me in my eyes like, yeah, you're going to take this shit. So I'm like, so I'm saying in my head, I never pass nothing for nobody again. So, you know, but I'm still in jail. Time passed. Uh, so I remember, you know, but, I, but, but I'm like, okay, cool. I'm chilling. Oh. I remember my man asked me to pass the kite. And it's supposed to be my man. He like, yo, pass the kite to uh, my other man for me that I was in the dorm with. So I passed the kite to him. I didn't even read the shit because I'm like, yo, I asked him before he gave me the kite because I'm like, yo, this is my man. Like, I'm thinking like, that's why you got to, you can't even, you you got to be 100%. Whatever you do in life or whatever you got to cover somebody, whether in jail, out of jail, whatever you, stick to it. I don't care if they're your brother, sister, mother, the father, that. If this is what, if this this is a, a situation, you got to be on your P's and Q's about everything. Don't be relaxed. Be on it with them too, because you know it's people that, that take your the loyalty that you got for them and use it against you. So don't let that happen. You know what I'm saying, be on P's and Q's with that. So, so boom, I'm um I'm 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 I, I get the kite. I ask bro, I'm like yo, is anything dirty in here? Nah, you good? Ah, right. so I give it to the other bro. So he read the shit. He come back to me like yo, Meech. He look mad as hell. 
Yo, me, you read this, bro? You gonna pass me this shit for real? I'm like, yo, what are you talking about? I didn't read nothing. So I look at it. He telling, bro, like, yo, yo, you getting it crazy. You got to set it out. You don't set it out. Be outside. Be ready to go gun and gun. You know what I'm saying? And be ready to ride. You know what I'm saying? Cut your head off. So I'm reading it, but I'm hot now because if this wasn't my man, say I would have passed this kite to, because cause this my man, some the, the one I passed kite was my man, you know, I know, and this was my man, but they not cool with each other. They don't know each other. But say the person I was passing kite wasn't my man. And now he feeling like, yo, I passed this kite. So obviously I'm here for the setup that I'm going to pass. If he did try to extort him, that I'm the one that's going to be in the middle of it. So now he's like, you know what? I'm going to send a messenger. I'm, I'm going to use the messenger as a message. And he octopus my shit, split me down the middle, and it busts wide open. And now it's over. You know what I'm saying? And I'm already funny looking. So can you imagine me with a keloid going across my face? I'm going to look that big, thick ass worm when niggas get cut and be looking stupid as hell. I'd be just out. I would. I'd just be out. I already look like a creative pair, uh, a character. It's it's done for. You know what I'm saying? My beard, no hairline, none of that. And with a keloid, come on, man, it's over. So I'm upset about this. I'm I'm derailed. I'm hurt. So what I do? Soon I'm like, yo, bro, we gonna go outside, gonna handle this. And the nigga that's sending the kite ain't even like that. So I'm like, yo, why is you sit like you you thinking because bro be on some laid back stuff? Ah, uh, and somebody done gas you to go at him. You soft, so why would you do it? But I know you soft, so now, and bruh may not know that because he's laid back, but all right, now you put me in the middle. You put me in it. Boom, go outside. I'm waiting by the gate because everybody got to come in the yard through the gate, the double gate, so I'm sitting there waiting. You know how you be You know how you know be waiting for somebody? You've been waiting. Now you praying to God you can't wait to see him. You sitting there, you've been waiting for, for umpteen years to see him. You still, you got somebody, right now, you got somebody to this day that when you go somewhere, you still be the first, the first five people that come through the door, you be hoping it's them, so you be like this. Oh, no, that ain't them. That ain't them. That ain't them. You still do that to this day. So I was right there on the gate just like that. Wait, I'm counting every person that come in. The police over there counting with his little counter. I'm sitting there counting them in, waiting for him to come in. As soon as he come, as soon as he come through, I see him. Pull him right there. Yo, come here. Spin. So spin is, you know, spin in the yard when we walk the yard. So I'm like, yo, spin. So I got, I got, the, I got the 12 on me because I'm saying, yo, if this nigga say anything stupid or he don't say what I want to hear, I'm about to rip his shit because simple fact is you put me under fire without this man could have did anything to me. Could have dumped the hot pot water on me. Could have hit me with a small locker, locking a sock across the head. Anything. Or he could have just paid somebody, gave somebody some the drid dugs to finish me in the dorm. Like on some, yo, we about to take these niggas out. And he's a part of it. It's over. So you know niggas be playing war like that. Like, I'm gonna get rid of you, send you as a message. And if I get rid of you first, hopefully the rest of you niggas be like, you know what? They not playing. So now I'd have been a sacrificial lamb. Would have been one of them motherfucking cults. Right to the stake. It's over. So boom. I see, bro. I'm like, yo, yo, come here. Let me holler at you. So I got my hands in my, what you call it, in my in my sweats, because it's where I got 12. So I'm like, yo, bro, listen. How you sit there telling me to pass a carry? I asked you it was dirty and you was trying to extort this man. He was like, it wasn't dirty, bro. It wasn't nothing, but it is. I'm like, niggas, you stupid. So he like, he like, he said, yo, bro, you feeling, you sounding real hostile right now. Right then and there. It was like, yo, I should, I'm about to buck him. It's over. I'm, I'm sounding hostile. You put my life under jeopardy and I'm hostile. Okay. So this was going to be hostile. I'm going to hostily disfigure you or hostily recreate you. That's it. I'm an Edward Scissors hand. Boop, 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 boop. You're about to be a shrubbery. I'm going to make you into a shrubbery. I'm going to recreate you. There's about to be some lawns and gardening going on this motherfucker. I'm going to be right over you. So he like, he like, I'm like, yo, bro, listen. Because you my man, I'm trying to get you to see what I'm saying. You sent the kite. I uh, told me I didn't even read it. And you telling this man sent a third. I should really get at you. So now he see I'm serious. He like, he like, come on, bro. I ain't even like that. I didn't know that. Uh, it don't matter what you knew. Don't. So I'm like, yo, bro, go over that man and apologize. You don't apologize to that man. We got to go, bro. It's just like that. You chose your line. You put me under fire. So he like, word like that? You going to stick up for this nigga? This, you, this nigga supposed to be a bitch. I'm like, nigga, use a bitch. Nigga going to tell me. When I told him, use a bitch, he going to be like, yeah, but he don't know that. Go. Go do it. Now. Now. You trying to extort somebody and motherfuckers, ext motherfuckers been extorting you before. You can't be, ex you can't get extorted and then be the extorter. It don't work like that. Get over there. 
See, bro, you ain't even trying to let me eat. I was trying to change my life to be a gangster type shit. Niggas don't even let me be in my glory, you know what I'm saying? I want some hood stories. I want to have some prison war stories. That was about to be one of mine. Man, nigga, give me the bag. But you ain't like that. Now, if he really be with it, you you going to be stuck. They told me that he wouldn't been with it. So I'm just like, what if he told you let's go gun to gun? Oh, I'd have told him I ain't bring mine. Get over there. Get over there. Apologize to that man. So he walk up over there. He like, yo. He like, yo, yo, let me holler at you. Uh, you he tell me apologize, my bad. I was going through stuff. Uh, uh. And bro, keep on player on him. He like, yo, listen, if you needed something, because that's how he was. If you needed something like that, I, I'd have smashed you with something and just told you to bring me this back. Whatever you decide to do with it, I don't want to see niggas eat regardless of the fact. He's like, but I ain't on it like that, but don't come at me like that, bro. If you want to go gun to gun, we can get this over with. You know what I'm saying? Which I knew he was going, because bro, he's a good dude, but he ain't no punk. So he like, nah, 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 hell no, nah. I ain't want to go gun. He said, nigga, you told me you want to go gun to gun in the letter. He's like, no, nah, what I was saying was like, if it was two guns and, um, you know what I mean? You was there and I was there, you know what I mean? And we couldn't resolve this, then that would have been an option. Fuck. Nigga, that's gonna. He like, yo, meet your man. I'm like, don't worry, man. I He's still in special. He, he, he 32 years, I mean, uh, 36 years old. And he's still in special ed. Like, I don't know what to say about that. Like, I I don't know. He's in special ed in jail. It's, I, it's, he got four teachers in a room. I don't know what you, and, and it's just one teacher and four inmates is teacher assistant. So it, I, I can't explain this to you. This is, this is what you're dealing with. So that's why I don't pass kites. The last reason why it would solidify me not passing kites is this right here. I watched a dude take the kite, a young kid, take the kite. Kite had a hammer in it and everything. Had a, had a 12 minute everything. The kid was, he was gangbanging. He was, he was, um, what was he, Latin King? Yeah, I believe he was Latin King. If he wasn't Latin King, he was Nieta. But he was Latin, I'm pretty sure he was Latin King. He had the crown. He was Latin King. I watched someone was in the dorm with me. I watched the nigga in the dorm Give him the kite with the 12, with the razor in there. Like, yo, go take this to such and such. Yo. So my bro, like, yo, listen, it's about to be some, it's about to be a movie. Watch this shit. So at the whole time, I'm like, he like, yo, just stay with son. Watch this. So the, so I'm like, damn, I'm thinking like he about to get busy. Yo, the man went outside. I, I slapped all of them up, did their whole thing. Uh, they all under the TV. He passes the kite to one of them. Yo, son, busts the kite open. Opens the kite, reads it, takes the razor out, take the tape off of it, busts the tape. He's reading it. Oh, he's like, oh, this nigga funny as hell. He crazy. Act like he putting it up. He tells son, yo, good looking, man. Slap him up. When boy went to turn around, he grabbed him by the back of his, he grabbed him by the, the, the when he turned around, he grabbed him by the front, hit him, and dug his shit in, ripped it all the way from here to there. Yo, that was some of the coldest shit I ever seen. That was some of the coldest. I was like, oh, shit. Even I'm like, and I'm, I've been down for a minute now. I'm like, oh, shit, this nigga gangster is, oh, them nigga, oh that nigga's a gang. The man went from the dorm with the kite, with the weapon in it, gave it to another dude. Instead of him reading it, seeing what it was about, it was about him. Getting shot by one of them. Dude read it, laughed. Ah, oh, yo, that's crazy. Yo, he crazy as hell. Slapped him, said, yo, good looking. Yo, we gonna spin. Son turned. He grabbed him, hit him, and ripped it all away. And just mushed him. Like. And I know someone was sitting there saying to himself, like, yo, I gave this nigga. My own demise. Like, I just set myself up. Me seeing that right there was just like, I was opening up, I was opening up CO's envelopes. I didn't give a fuck who it was. CO, everywhere. If I seen something on the floor that said, nigga, it might have said anything about me. You couldn't pass me a notebook without me reading. You passed me a book. I don't, it could have been 3,000 pages. Yo, uh, Meech, pass this book for me. You you wrote this? Yeah, I think you wrote this. This is right. It, it's say from Stephen King, nigga. Yeah, I know that's your that's your nickname right there. That's what you're doing. I'm gonna read all this. I'm reading everything. See, I was reading Braille. I'm reading everything. You ain't about to. 
That's why I don't pass kites. That's why when you do, I mean, that's why I know if I get a kite, I'm reading it. So if you get a kite, read it first because it could be the setup. Um, yo, prison stories. Subscribe, life in the pen. Hashtag prison talk. Hashtag in and out. Hit that notification bell. If you're rocking with me, I'm gonna have some more good interviews coming. You know what I'm saying, like I said, I like to see people succeed, do their own thing. Um, you know, if you got a loved one that's locked up, I mean, just show you show some love, write them, be there for them any type of way you can, even if it's just a card. Uh, everybody stay safe, man. Thank y'all for supporting me. Like I said, man, this is more than a channel. We a community now. Y'all keep me out of trouble because I was going up somebody's head. Yeah, I was going. Yeah, it was over. I was going to. Good night, folks. Yeah, that's all she wrote. That's what I was doing. But because y'all encouraged me to be here, I appreciate y'all. Share my music, man. If you mess with me, share my music, view my music, put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Yeah. Y'all be good. I'm out.